guys, and welcome to a slightly late weekly wrap-up. Sorry about that. Uh, all of the things are happening again. Slightly Gretchen's fault, but also my fault. I haven't had time because my car died, and I've been having to bum rides and, like, sit places constantly. So I've had zero time as well. But we're here now, and we're going to be talking about things. So here we go. Backing it way up to last Sunday, which is a week from today, so whatever. Uh, Bibliomancy for Beginners at our last in Bibliomancy special. That is our drunk book club where we all hang out, drink alcohol now that we're all over 21, and talk about books. This week we read Death Vigil by Stefan Sejic. Literally try and say that three times fast. I just did. Um... <laughs> And that was a graphic novel. So that was, we've done books with art before, but this was our first, like, specific graphic novel, serial comic, question mark. We discussed that in the video. So if you want to, you know, hear us debate that, you should watch that. Um, and also, you know, just watch us drink and be funny. Taylor and I were in the same space, so I got to physically attack him when I actually got pissed on air, which is the first time that I've actually been angry on air since the last book he chose with art in it. I don't know why that's bad for me. <laughs> it just is. But anyway, it's a really good episode, and you should go watch that. There are links to that on both me and Michaela's blog, so you literally can't go wrong. It's probably up in the eye as well, so do that thing. On Monday, I had a review, or sort of a review. I talked about my opinions on a book, but more of what I talked about was expectations when people are writing autobiographies, and particularly when celebrities are writing autobiographies. I did that because I had listened to Bossy Pants by Tina Fey for my Pop Sugar reading challenge, and there were parts of the story that I liked a lot more than other parts, and I think that that happened because she cared more about certain things than other things. Um, but that whole discussion is me talking about her feeling like she needed to discuss certain things or people would expect to hear certain things from her um, and how that conflicted with what she wanted to talk about. And yeah, so that was an interesting video. It's also short, so usually our videos end up being pretty long. That one I think was under five minutes, so yeah, definitely go watch that one. On Monday, I had a From the Notebook video that was, in fact, under 10 minutes long, even though I expected it to be longer, so go us on Monday. And that was on how writing my thesis almost got me to stop book blogging for like 30 seconds. Don't be scared, I'm not going anywhere, but I'm mostly talking about the things that my thesis led me to investigate about publisher use of book bloggers and how I want to use this new information that I have at my disposal to be a better book blogger in the future. So go watch that. It's really personal and important to me, so I would love to talk to you about it. On Tuesday, we had a joint review, the first one in forever, and we talked about A Tale for the Time Being by Ruth Ozeki, which I read in a buddy read and Gretchen read after because she was too busy to do the buddy read when we were doing it, but that's fine. She still read it, and we got to talk about it, so you should definitely go see that to hear us talk about a book that we had slightly different opinions on, because that's why we do this channel. We have different opinions on books and different tastes, and we can talk about different things, and it leads to new and interesting discussions. And that's why you guys need to comment on things, because you also have different tastes and views and can add to the discussion. Please, thanks, k bye. On Wednesday, I had a Worth It Wednesday. Surprise! This one was on A Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. Uh, and Bibliomancy did the first book in this series, back last semester, and reading that inspired me to read the whole series, and while the last book did make my most disappointing books of 2015, that does not mean that overall the series isn't worth it to the point where I may be making Bibliomancy read the second book this summer! Hint, hint! Wait for Tuesday on more. That'd be great. But anyways, check that out to see links to all that stuff, and also see why I still think it's worth it, even though the last book was kind of iffy. On Wednesday, I had a post where I talked about what I did on Free Comic Book Day. Uh, that was last weekend, so you've missed it. I'm sorry, you have to wait a year for it to come back. But if you have never attended a Free Comic Book Day or don't even know what that is, definitely go check out that post because I talk about what it's for and why it's fun. It's just a fun day to go and do stuff. If I took my siblings, I bought them each their own uh, comic that they wanted, like a like a volume, not just one comic. Um, we all got some of the free comics, and we got free sketches by a local comic book artist. So yeah, it's super fun. 
Also great for cosplayers. If you're into cosplay, go to Free Comic Book Day. That's a great way to meet other people in your area who do the same thing and care. Um, so yeah, just, just a great nerd holiday that you should learn about and want to participate in, if you can. We're gonna skip Thursday entirely because I totally missed my Thesis Thursday finale, so that'll be next week. Uh, and on Friday, when I was supposed to have a review, I instead had a very, very fast post announcing the giveaway winner of my Fingerprints of You giveaway because this week has been finals week hell. But that's super cool. I announced the winner of the giveaway. Uh, congratulations to Kenya, and I will actually be sending that email soon now that I have my brain back in one piece and not smooshed all over the library floor. Um, so yeah, and you can look forward to the review I was supposed to have that day next week. Spoiler alert! You have now reached the point in this video where we talk about the books we read this week, and yes, I didn't have anything at the end of this week to talk about. I was supposed to have a really fun video about translation up for you guys on Friday, but my car died on Wednesday and I didn't have a chance to film it when I wanted to, so I'm going to have that up on Monday. It will be a little bit late, like this one is, but it's still coming out, I promise. It's a thing. It's going to happen. It's important to me. I'm going to talk about it. Um, but for now, we're just going to talk about the books we're gonna, we read this week. Um, I honestly didn't think I read anything, and then I remembered that I read a couple things last weekend before this week happened, and so I'm going to be talking about those. <laughs> The first one I borrowed from my boss's son, which is all of the issues that will be combined into The Vision Volume 1, which comes out this week. I actually was really surprised how much I liked it. I do have issues with reading Marvel comics in the comic form because they're filled with ads and I just want to get the story and I have to flip through two-page spreads on which other comics I should be buying, like commercials and comic books, guys. They're so small, and yet this happens. But... As far as the story goes, it was great. It's one of my favorite ones that I've had so far. So yeah, that was definitely a good one. Um, after that, I realized that I had completed all of the comics for the third volume of The Wicked and the Divine, which I did not realize. I think I actually finished it a while ago. But I went back to see which ones were in that volume and reread them and was like, yeah, okay, so I have read the whole volume. So I'm counting it now. Um, this is pretty chunky. This is a good series. I reviewed it, the first volume, I believe, on my blog, which I will link a link to down below. But, uh, yeah, third volume. It was interesting. Things are happening. Fights are happening. God fights. Pop star god fights. That's what's happening in this right now. Um, and the final thing, I finished, like, five minutes before we were viewing this, and that was why The Last Man, Volume 1, Book 1, technically. I think it's actually Volume 1 and Volume 2 combined. So this is the next size up from a normal trade. Um, I had conflicted feelings about this. I like the premise. I like what it's trying to say, but I think sometimes it gets a little preachy and forced. Um, the characters are saying things and doing things I don't believe their characters would just to make a point about the world. This is a graphic novel series, comic series, where all of the men died one day, except for this one guy, our protagonist, um, and a world is left run by women, and it starts slightly after that event, the apocalypse that happened, and um, what's sort of going on in the world. On the East Coast, there's gangs of girls burning things, looting. They're running out of food, they're running out of gas, there's cars everywhere because the apocalyptic event happened in rush hour and all of these men died. Um, there's dead bodies, just rotting places, and girls get paid to go and collect the dead bodies and bring them so that they don't start creating diseases and stuff. So it's a really interesting world, even if the writing isn't as strong as I would like it to be. And I am definitely willing to pick up the next one in the series just to see where it goes with it. But yeah, it has some slight issues. Conflicted. The only thing I read this week, I think I technically could have counted as read last week, but I hadn't read it when we did that video, so I didn't count it, which is good. Because now I can say I read Death Vigil this week. Um, and I don't really have to say anything else about that because there is an hour-long video of me attempting to describe how I feel about it while drinking alcohol. So, another plug for that video, I guess. You should watch that. Um, and otherwise, yeah. Nope. Nothing for me. 
That's it for us this week, guys. It was a little bit lackluster towards the end. We know. We're sorry. Uh, we will make it up to you next week. And after that, when, you know, I'm not here anymore in my dorm room, um, and maybe Michaela has her car back and life can actually go on as normal until the next disaster. So, until that next disaster, we'll see you soon. Bye!